I'm in the cultural capital of Europe, Florence, Italy. I'm Sam Garza with World Travelers Today. Join me as I explore this amazing city. Overlooking the Piazza della Signoria is the famous Palazzo Vecchio. The palace has had many names through the centuries, but the current name was given when Duke Cosimo I moved his official seat to Palazzo Petti. He renamed his former palace to Palazzo Vecchio, or the Old Palace. Currently, the palace serves as a town hall of Florence and is also a museum. Construction of the Duomo de Perenze, or formerly the Cattedrale di Santa Maria del Fiore, began in 1296 and was completed in 1436 with a dome designed by Filippo Brunelleschi. The church is part of the cathedral complex known as the Piazza del Duomo. This includes the church, Ghiotto's Campanelli or Church Tower, and the Baptistery of St. John. One of the main attractions in Florence is Ponte Vecchio, or the Old Bridge. The medieval bridge spans the Arno River and has been rebuilt several times in the past. The bridge once housed the city's butchers, but now you'll find jewelry shops all along the bridge. Located in the hip neighborhood of Oltrano is Cafe Note. This is a great place for lunch or for just having a coffee. The Pitti Palace derives its name from Luca Pitti, who was the original residence in 1458. In 1549, the palace was bought by the Medici, and it became where the Grand Duchy of Tuscany resided. Through the centuries, the palace grew and gained paintings, jewels, and other luxuries. It was even used by Napoleon. The palace is an amazing example of Renaissance architecture and is a must-see when visiting Florence. A favorite spot in Florence for some very good gelato is Vivoli. Located in Florence Historic Center, this is a great spot to cool off with some amazing ice cream. To view Michelangelo's David, you'll need to visit the Academia Gallery. Try to arrive early or late in the afternoon to avoid long lines. Located in the Oltrano neighborhood is Piazza Santo Spirito. If you're looking for some good wine, good food, or just a coffee, this is a great place to come and see more of Florence.
If you're looking for some good Italian wine, I recommend the Obsequium Wine Shop and Bistro. This is a good place to taste some Italian wine paired with some delicious food. If you're a coffee lover, I recommend having a coffee at Scudieri. The cafe has some amazing delicious pastries and is located in the Piazza del Duomo. I've always enjoyed visiting Florence and there's still so much more to see about this amazing city. So look for more videos about Florence and I hope you will come here soon. Let us know if we can help you along your journey. Thanks for watching and remember, travel deeper. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're planning a trip to Europe, allow us to design the trip for you. We can provide expert advice to ensure your trip is one you'll never forget. So please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.